Help me come. Hey, Oakley. Hey. What should we take today? The car? Or the truck? Should we go for an adventure? You wanna take the truck? Go for a ride? Alright, load up. I figured we'd do something on the truck today. I haven't filmed anything on or about the truck in quite some time now. Um, fixed a couple things, we got it running a little bit better. So I figured we'd go for a small adventure with Oakley, get him out of the house, get out of the house during this pandemic and go explore the woods a little bit. Um, I think we're gonna do a walk around and see where we've come from since we picked up this truck out of co-parts back in October, so just under a year, and uh, kind of talk about where it's come from and my plans on where it's gonna go. But first, we have to get gas, because all you guys know that these things will pass almost everything except for a gas station. So let's go fill her up. So before we get too far into this, we had to make a pit stop. Somebody was whining, had to go to the bathroom apparently. So we'll let him out. Um, but before we get into this walk around, there's two tree things that I want to talk about first. One, yes, I know my truck is dirty. There's dirt on the inside. There's all sorts of corgi hair from the little woolly mammoth that lives with me. I know it's dirty. I do clean it, but I also use it every day. So it will be dirty. Second, yes, I know, you don't have to comment down and below. It is a two wheel drive truck. You don't have to comment, why did I put so much money into this truck? Because if you guys have been following along, you'll know where I've gotten the truck from. You also know that I've been very budget oriented with this truck, so if you followed this build along, you know I really haven't spent that much money on modifying this truck. <coughs> and yes, three, calling it a truck, because it's built on a truck platform the same as the Frontier. So it's still a truck, even though it's an SUV. It's like the whole Tacoma 4Runner thing 
same platform, still a truck. Anyways, let's move on. I think we're gonna keep going up this road up here. I haven't been up here yet and uh, see if we can find a place where we can do a quick little walk around. So let's find a spot. All right, so we're gonna do this all nice, short, sweet, simple, like um, I've been the last hour getting lost up here cause trails are just seem to be going everywhere. Randomly dead ending. It looks like people are punching through where they shouldn't be. And I'm by myself, so I don't really want to push it much further. So we'll just do it here. We were up there, but then we ran into a gate. So we're just gonna do this here. So this right here is our second version. So this is going to be our 2003 Nissan Xterra, five speed, 3.3 liter, two wheel drive. Now, yes, I know, again, I said it, it's two wheel drive, but we're already in plans to fix that. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going tomorrow to Spokane to pick up a new transmission for this thing. And then at that point, all we need is the drive shaft and we'll have four wheel drive. Now you guys seen the footage. If you guys have been keeping up, you know, we got this by accident. I didn't fully read through it, but nevertheless, it's here now. She's built up and she's almost where we want it. So up front, we've made some different changes. We have a ARB front bumper that has seen a little bit better days, but she works. Um, we have just some general LED lights that we got off of Amazon. We also have a 30 inch that's no longer on it at the moment because I need to redo the brackets. The headlights have been upgraded to LEDs and then we painted a couple things. Uh, so yeah, so we have some LED bars that aren't on it at the moment. I'm still trying to pick and choose what and where we want to put them. Um, but yeah, so that's it for up front. We're not running any belly armor or anything like that at the moment. So moving around to the side, we are still on some stock 15 inch wheels um, wrapped in Achilles 33 inch tires. So they're 33 by 12 and a half. Full Rantero struts all the way around with dampening adjustments. We're running pretty much everything that Cal Mini had to offer. So we have uh, their front upper control arms with the greasable ball joints. We have their sway bar in links and extensions, uh, but we are no longer running sway bars front or rear on this truck. We have Cal Mini torsion bars, the Ada leaf with the full Cal Mini leaf pack in the rear and their three inch drop shackles in the rear. And other than that, that's pretty much all we're running for suspension wise. I also forgot we're also rocking a two inch body lift on top of our suspension. So there's that. Um, there's a couple of things in the engine bay that we just got rid of some redundancies and things like that, but nothing too crazy. They're just general maintenance up in the hood. And that's about it. Now moving to the back has been the most fun part of this truck so far. We swapped out our rear bumper caps for some PMP engineering. These are full, or, uh, full metal and act as a step. Uh, we got rid of our center section and decided to build a full tire carrier uh, just because I always wanted to carry a spare tire and I did it solely just so we could carry the trash through. Um, so this was a fun project but it's a full dual swing out. With two tables, uh, we went ahead and remade our center section as a step and a jack point. So it still uses the factory bolt system that the original center section came with. So this is bolted right into the frame rails and the metal caps, which are bolted into the side. So everything's super sturdy and our swing outs are then welded onto the center caps or to the side caps. We have uh, a two gallon water jug from Rotopack that's bolted through the door. And yes, there is a back plate. So this has some rigidity to it. In the back, this is where it still kind of is the same from the old setup. Um, but instead of doing drawers, uh, I decided to drop the platform by two inches, take out the drawers. And now we're just using totes.
So we can carry four totes up in total. Uh, one of these is carrying tools and straps and things of that nature. Another one is carrying our full-size blow-up mattress so we can sleep back here with extra pillows and the air pump. Um, one of these is all kitchen utensils and cutting boards and things to cook with with the camp stove. And then the other one is just some miscellaneous foods enough to get us one or two days on the trail. And that, as you can see, stores away all nicely. Like I said, it can fit a full-size bullet mattress. And I got a one from Sportsman's Warehouse. It's only about eight inches high and it's perfect. It's a little tight, but it's great for just me and Oakley to hit the trail for a night or two. Now, moving to the side, we still didn't change much, but I use this extra space just to store some of the last minute things. So on the other side, it's things like the camp stove and my uh, sleeping bag. This other side is kind of uh, open so you can fit like a backpack with some overnight clothes and toiletries and things like that can all go here along with Oakley stuff like his water bowl, leashes, food, all of that stuff can go under here. Um, if we have extra stuff like chairs and tables and stuff and they can just ride in the back with the dog or they can go up top which is something that I'm still working on I want to buy another one of those boxes to go up top for storage for things that is not necessarily I have to be weather conscious about with that being said up top we got some of our quick fists that are holding our axe and our shovel um, off the other side I think I want to do like either an awning, some sort of a bat wing, or maybe even a, like a water shower type situation. Um, but we have our custom rack as of right now that we made. That's another video you can go back and check out. Um, it can hold me and probably some more extra weight. So that can probably hold up to 400 pounds worth of equipment for when we actually do start going out and getting out. Um, inside hasn't gotten really too over the top yet. I've kind of kept it kind of minimal as of right now. We have our switch system up here, which is running all of our light bars. Uh, we replaced the dash with just a Bluetooth deck, super simple. Um, just the normal storage in the doors. We have our Nissan first aid kit. And then we have another one, oops. And then we have another one in the back. Uh, this little cubby between the seats and this thing, we have things like jumper cables and some other stuff that we don't need that often. Uh, we've redone the headliner because obviously if any of you guys own these, you know the headliner is one of the first things to sag. And then of course we have all of our patches, which if any of you guys out there have patches or make patches or whatever it is hit me up on some form of social media I would love to get in touch with you guys and to expand my patch collection and stay tuned I think I'm gonna try to come out with some patches of my own so we could probably trade off um, just hanging out looking over the world but yeah so That's pretty much it. We kept this one super simple, uh, got it for super cheap, and we're gonna probably hang on to it. Even though I keep thinking about getting rid of it to get into something bigger, um, like maybe a second gen or switching over to like a Tacoma or something like that nature. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys would think. if. You want to see this thing like live on and get built up like obviously we're going to do the um, four-wheel drive swap and we'll probably drop in a newer motor and work on some venting and i have little things i want to do with this work on our exterior lighting and, and crap like that but <clears throat> overall as we push forward i'm kind of thinking i wanted to get into something a little bit bigger something easier to camp in 
or I don't know. I'm just thinking, comment down below what you guys think. Should we hang on to this? Should we get rid of it and get into something bigger or whatever you guys think. But so if you guys like this, you guys want to see us do more adventures and get out more. Maybe we can do some trail runs and meet up with some of you people out there that love these videos. Oakley and I are always down to adventure. Hey, what are you doing? Come here. And he's on the floorboard. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.